All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving question 11 from the chapter 8 of Beer and Johnson textbook. And we have a 20 pound block A and the 30 pound block B that are supported by an incline that is held in the position shown. We know that the coefficient of static friction is 0.15 between the two blocks and zero between the block B and the incline. So there is no friction between the block B and this surface but we have friction between block A and B, which we know is 0.15. And we need to determine the value of the theta in the figure for which the motion is impending or uh, the motion is about to happen. So before we start, let's see what happens in here. So the block B is going to move down and the block A is going to move to the left. Uh, or in this direction. So we're going to go with the free body diagram of each of them. And we need to find the angle theta where the motion is about to happen, meaning um, we are at the moment that the B is starting to move in this direction. And obviously A is going to go in this direction. So let's start with the free body diagram then. And I'm going to start with the free body diagram of block A. And we're just going to consider our X and Y in this direction. So let's call this one our X, this one our Y. And let's see what forces we have. So we have, uh, first of all, the tension in the cable that is attached to A, which is this force. So we can call this one T. And we have one single cable that goes around that pulley and attaches to block B. So we have the same tension in each of them. We have the weight of the block A, which will be in this direction. And we know it's 20 pounds. Mm, so we're going to have the normal force on the block A. We can call this one N1. And as I said, the box uh, the block A is moving up the hill and the friction has to be in the opposite direction. So we're going to call this one our friction or F1. And since we are talking about when the motion is about to happen, we have to pass this static coefficient in order to start the movement. So the F1 that we have in here would be static coefficient times the normal force, which is N1 in here. One more thing, we know the angle between x and our horizontal is theta, which means this angle here is also theta. And we are still in equilibrium. We are at the moment that we are in a transition from equilibrium to the movement. So we have our equilibrium equations, and we can do some of all forces for y equals 0. And same for the X. So let's see what we have in Y direction. We have N1. We have well, minus 20 cosine of theta equals zero. Or the Y component of the 20 pounds force. So here we can find our N1 is equal to 20 cosine of theta. So one equation so far, let's move on to our fx. This one's also equal to zero. So what we have in x direction is the friction or the static coefficient times n1. The static coefficient between a and b is 15. So 15, uh, point 15 times n1 and the n1 that we have it's what we have in the previous step 20 cosine of theta so that's pretty much our f1 again which will be in positive direction minus t and we also have the x component of 20 pounds plus 20 with this time sine of theta equals zero so if you want to find the force t it will be 20 sine of theta plus 
20 times 0 0.15 is going to be 30. Uh, it's going to be 3. So 0 0.15 times 20 will be 3 cosine of theta. And that's pretty much everything that we can get from the free body diagram of this block and our equilibrium equations so now we need to move on to the free body diagram of block b so let's do that so we're going to be having the same x and y let's call this one our x and this will be our y so as i said the box b is moving down so this is the direction for box b we have the cable t in this direction we have um, the weight of this box, which if we get back to the question, we know block B is 30 pounds. So we have 30 pounds here. And we have same angle out uh, theta in here. We have another normal force N2. And we're going to have the normal force N1 applying to the block A in the opposite direction of what we had in here. So our N1 from block B to A is in this direction, which means from block A to B has to be in the opposite direction based on the Newton's law. So we have to watch for these directions. And basically the box is moving in this direction, which means we're going to have a friction in the opposite direction. But since the question is saying that uh, we have a zero uh, friction between block B and A, so we don't need to consider any friction for this one. But we have the same friction uh, from the previous part, which was this one. So we're going to have the same friction in here in the opposite direction. That one was uh, along positive x axis, this will be along negative x axis, but same magnitude f1 mu s times n1 and as i said the other friction which was what we have in here we can call it f2 this will be zero since there is no static coefficient for that one so now we're going to do the same thing sum of all forces in x equals zero since we are still in equilibrium and we are on that moment of transition from equilibrium to the movement. So let's see what we have. So we're going to have the x component of the 30 pounds, which will be 30 sine of theta minus t minus the friction mu s times n1, or what we found in here as f1, which was 3 cosine of theta. So this is basically equal to 3 cosine of theta from what we found in the previous step. 3 cosine of theta equals 0. Or our t will be three, uh, 30 sine of theta minus 3 cosine of theta. So what we are trying to find in this question is that theta, and we found two equations based on t and theta, these two which means if we just subtract these two from each other, we should be getting something. So the equation that we have is t is equal to 3 sine of theta minus 3 cosine of theta. So that was our second equation. And our first one would be t is equal to 20 sine of theta plus 3 cosine of theta. So let's just subtract these two. So on the left side, we have t minus t, which will be 0 is equal to 3 sine of theta. So it will be 3 sine of theta minus 3 cosine of theta minus the, the first equation over here. So minus 20 sine of theta minus 3 cosine of theta is equal to 0.
So what we're going to end up in here is that we have 30 sine of theta minus 20 sine of theta will be 10 sine of theta minus 3 cosine of theta minus 3 cosine of theta or minus 6 cosine of theta is equal to 0. And that shows that 10 sine of theta is equal to 6 cosine of theta. We're just going to divide sine of or cosine of theta on each side. We have 10 tangent of theta is equal to 6. And here, tangent of theta is 6 over 10, which means our theta is equal to tangent inverse of 6 over 10. Let's see what we get. Our theta will be 30.96 degrees. And that's going to be the final answer for this question. Um, hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.